a few people have asked me about how often I pull the camper off and at the end of the day I don't pull it off very often and uh, the, the camper stays on the truck pretty much 90 more than 90 percent of the time I'd say it's only when I'm going to be at one spot for more than say two or three days I'll take the camper off the truck and uh, that gives us the truck and a bit of a freedom to run around and explore in but generally speaking the camper stays on the truck however when I do know I'm going to take the camper off the legs travel with me in the uh, the rear drawer they fit quite easily in the rear drawer about 40 kilos of weight the four legs so somewhere between eight and nine kilos each and then you've got your drill and your batteries and things like that on top of it so about 50 kilo, uh, 40 kilos all up that 40 kilos you lose when you you don't take the camper off you you're traveling without them but while you lose that you still fill it up with stuff so you're probably only 20 kilos better off when you're not traveling with the legs i quite often will reverse the truck back in under the the camper on my own just means i get out once or twice just to check it so it definitely is easier when my wife's around and, and she can give me a hand um yeah so driving the truck back under it isn't that difficult you 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 get once you've done it once or twice you'll know when you turn your mirrors in what it is you have to line up and uh you don't have to get incredibly close to the camper with the back of the ute you can uh you can leave it six inches away and get it down to where it needs to be and then creep it back after you you've lowered it a bit that's better so how am I going on? clearance is good hang on I can manipulate it with the legs, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So, just for the camera, I'm using the, the motion of the up and down on each leg to move the canopy side to side. So as this is coming down, it comes forward toward me. So if I'm out a little bit, I just let one side down before the other side. The idea now is to get it down fairly low, all the way around, in the right spot. Then I'll move the, the ute back to where it needs to be and uh, finish lowering it. So uh, you can see, come over here, you can see in here this is a little bit too too deep, too far in. So as I let it down, you watch it come back toward me. And it's coming back into exactly where I want it to be, in the right spot. And that's how I manipulate the, the canopy as I'm bringing it down to uh to fall into the right spot pretty much all lined up perfectly at the moment you can see here this ridge here is falling down pretty much in line with this as it is on this side
after you've got the uh, the camper all lined up and lowered the legs are easy to get off you give them a kick with your boot if you've got boots on if you haven't got boots on well then a, a rubber mallet does the trick you will need something uh, you do have to give it a bit of a kick i've done it in pluggers before but i tell you as you get older and you start to respect your feet a little more the pluggers are uh, a lot less used once the legs are loose there's a little safety clip on the top of the legs you just pull that back and remove the legs and the legs go away putting the clamps on these are the clamps clips onto the canopy that goes under the tray and it's done up with a 17 mil so i do this on all four clamps i won't bore you with that and then all it is to connect the uh, the wiring i'll show you that in a second I had to um, just give the tray a bit of a weld. It's a cheap, cheap tray from uh, W&M Trays. I got it because it's the lightest tray on the market, and uh, being the lightest tray on the market, had to do a few modifications. One of them was just welding it in this corner. It's all over. Yeah, trucks back together and you're ready to drive away into the sunset. It's Simpson Desert. So all four legs fit in the back of the slide out drawer really easily. Um, I don't take them every time I go, only when I know I'm going to stay somewhere for an extended period of time and I want to take the canopy off. Other than that, I pull them out and I lose about 40 kilos of weight and gain a lot more storage space. So normally you just have the one, and that'll be from your battery, yeah, yeah, your alternator, back to your house battery, to your DC to DC. That'll be the one everyone has. I have two, and this smaller one comes back from the battery, the house battery, into my cab, so that I can use power back seat of my cab when I need to. And that's it. The canopy's back on. Well, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget that thumbs up. Any questions at all or any ideas in relation to videos you'd like me to do um, in the comments field below. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to support the channel, you'll see a Patreon link in the description below. Go down, click that, follow the bouncing ball, shout me a coffee. Till the next one, take care.